So I'm out here at the Hinesburg Town Forest in the area that we managed last year. If you come out to an area that's just experienced a natural disturbance or an area that's just been managed, what you'll see is that it can be very unsettling. Uh, it can be very confusing. It can be very strange. Essentially what you're gonna see is all this mortality, all these dead trees, all this dead wood on the ground, all this space that has not yet turned into anything exciting. Now in these moments, it's important to remember a couple really important things about forests. One is that forests are dynamic and they thrive on change. All of these really important and beautiful things about forests ultimately come from change. It's a completely natural and normal part of how forests work and both the tree species and the plants and the animals and all these other species are adapted to a dynamic environment. So this is an opportunity for a lot of really interesting and cool things to happen and for the forest to ultimately become more diverse, more resilient, more rich with habitat. The other thing to remember is as always that forests are messy. And so if it looks messy to you, just know that that's completely normal and that a lot of those components that actually look messy, those dead trees on the ground, gaps in the forest canopy, uh, diversity of different sizes and ages of trees, all of those things are actually things that are really important uh, to forest health and to habitats for all of our native critters and also our native plants. The last thing to remember is that forests respond to disturbances relatively slowly. So what you'll see is for a couple of years, it'll just look kind of like this. It'll look messy. It'll look like nothing's happening. And then usually in year three, year four, year five, what you're going to see is this explosion of life. Here at the Heinsberg Town Forest, if you go over to the area that we managed between 2018 and 2020, you'll see just this incredibly diverse forest. You'll see areas of young trees, which are really important, but also areas of shrubs like raspberries and blackberries, areas of herbaceous species, which are so important for our pollinators. Just this really interesting and dynamic and diverse response to that disturbance. As you go into an area that's experienced a disturbance, whether that disturbance is natural, like a windstorm, or if it's human cause, you just need to remember that that response takes time and that the true expression and the value of whatever happened in the forest won't really be realized for years and years. It's a frustrating thing about forests that we don't get that immediate gratification but if we're gonna understand forests and really sort of meet them where they're at and hope to manage them and steward them well, that sense of patience and the willingness to sort of wait for these good things to come is really, really important.